Paladin Post Game presented by TNG Electric. I'm Alex Ramsey. Here's everything to get you caught up in Paladin Athletics. The men's basketball team faced Chattanooga to kick off a doubleheader with the women's basketball team in Timmins Arena on Saturday. Coming off a narrow 67-66 loss to UNC Greensboro Tuesday, the Paladins look to snap the number one Mocs eight-game winning streak in their game aired by Fox Sports Southeast. Chattanooga used a 14-2 run to jump out to a 16-7 lead. Furman responded with two huge blocks by Kendrick Ferrara, as well as two back-to-back -back dunks in the paint. The Paladins stretched the lead to 53-43 with Chris Cox converting in the paint. The Paladins went on to defeat the Mocs 70-55. Devin Sibley had a game-high 18 points with Stephen Kroon following with 17. The men returned to Timmins Arena Monday night at 6 to take on SoCon rival Samford. And the women's basketball team came off a big win in their conference opener against East Tennessee State on Thursday. The Mocs jumped ahead early, leading the Paladins 16-5 six minutes in. Chattanooga increased the advantage to 39-35 going into the fourth quarter, but Furman rallied behind Holly Wilkins' pair of baskets and a three-pointer to narrow the lead to 51-47 with just under two minutes left in the game. The Mocs would work the clock and tack on a couple free throws to get the win over the Paladins 56-50. Wilkins led Furman, scoring with 20 points, along with Whitney Bunn, who added 12 points. And the ladies return to action Saturday at Wofford. That's all for Paladin Post Game. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Catch us back here next week. We'll see you then.